The strongest stand is highly debatable in the JoJo's community. Since there really isn't any objective answer to this question, I will give you my interpretation of the strongest stand. This video is a request from a friend of mine and if you have any video requests, be sure to join the discord in the description below and type in the video request channel. Starting with the number 10 stand, Vanilla Ice. Cream is able to become a portal to a void like dimension. Anything that passes through this portal is disintegrated into nothingness, with the sole exception being Vanilla Ice himself, who can use this devoid dimension as a hiding place. Vanilla Ice is a character that gets too much attention in the JoJo community in terms of power. The stand cream allows Vanilla Ice to jump inside of a alternative dimension and completely untraceable for the current dimension and unaffected. Think of it as a floating Hakai ball that disintegrates everything it touches. The stand cannot get affected by it when it's inside of its mouth, which makes it seem powerful, but in reality it really isn't. You see, Vanilla Ice is not capable of seeing anything or anyone while inside of the other dimension, which forces him to open the gate between the dark dimension and the cream's mouth. Pause. The reason he is in the bottom of this list is because I consider everyone above massively faster than Vanilla Ice and stronger and would be able to kill him before he gets inside of his dark dimension. Number 9. Silver Chariot Silver Chariot is a powerful battle dedicated close range stand that primarily fights with a rapier. It is equipped with. It's a character that I value much character wise and scaling wise. He is a character that I consider the bridge of a majority of the speed scaling in JoJo's. The user Polnareff uses Silver Chariot in a very efficient way which is also why Polnareff is a much feared stand user within the verse. Wildly known about his skill and speed, Silver Chariot is massively faster than Cream and this was displayed when he's able to hit Cream multiple times before he's able to react. The reason why I have him above Cream is because Polnareff now has knowledge about how Cream fights, what his ability does and how it operates so he shouldn't struggle as much as he did prior. Also, he canonically beat Cream, so I don't really think this is arguable. Number 8, Diavolo. Diavolo is a character that I hold high in terms of character analysis. He's unironically my favorite JoJo villain, so having him at number 8 both hurts my ego and my self esteem. King Crimson is one of the most impressive stats featured in these series. Both physically strong and possessing the ability to erase time and predict the future, King Crimson is described as an invincible stand against all other stands whose powers do not affect time. The reason why I have King Crimson or Diavolo so low is because in terms of speed he really isn't that fast. I mean yeah he fought Silver Chariot but the reason why he beat him is because of the ability and not its speed. But by an excessive amount of meat writing and wrapping my brain around some possible scaling by the grace of god I was capable of reaching at least the 8th spot for Diavolo. Diavolo is a character that can overcome some speed differences because of his abilities such as precognition, time skip, time erasure. His ability epitaph allows him to predict the movements of the opponents and easily dodge the attacks that are displayed. What is shown by epitaph is fated to happen. Diavolo uses epitaph to predict his opponent's movements and uses his time skip to sneak behind his enemies like Batman and turn them into donuts. Diavolo considered one of the strongest threats in this list. Number 7, GR. I know what you're thinking, why is GR number 7 and not number 1? Well, before you've executed my entire bloodline in the comment section, if you watched the video that I previously made on why GR is overrated, you'd understand why he isn't really that high. Anyways, as we've covered earlier, GR isn't as strong as he's portrayed to be and if you haven't watched my video on GR, I recommend pausing the video right now and press the link in the description to understand the context. Will the Spare's Requiem's ultimate ability is to revert all actions of willpower back to the state of zero, completely nullifying them and preventing them from becoming real. For simplicity's sake, it is compared to performing Control z basically undo, completely denying any causality. GR in terms of speed and strength is inferior to that of Diavolo. Diavolo while looking into his epithet states that he is both stronger than GR and superior in speed. GR. If you need context on why is number 7. Watch the video in the description. Number 6, Made in Heaven. Made in Heaven is a stand that I consider the biggest threat to the stands below for the simple fact of its speed. Made in Heaven's speed is tagged infinite, which is why its speed is a key factor to its triumph of this list. In terms of speed, I consider him the strongest and possibly the biggest threat that Joestars has ever faced. 
Maiden Heaven also has some crazy strong abilities such as gravitational manipulation of a universal size, spatial manipulation of a universal range, and time manipulation, including fate manipulation of every organism in a universe. This includes GR for every GR meter writer. Uchi also has overwhelming strength displayed on these panels when he showcased fatally striking Jotaro, but not only Jotaro but the entire crew. Not only did the main cast fear his immense speed narratively, but Pucci's vast speed is consistently extraordinary scaling wise. Pucci's Maiden Heaven is a short range stand meaning that he has to be in range to hurt his opponents. Pucci's great speed makes up for his weaknesses as every stand has because the distance between him and his enemies he could easily cover. Pucci's speed accelerating to its ultimate form subjugates all that is within the universe to be exposed to his reset epitomizing a new start to him or as he believes heaven this combined with its overwhelming strength is why i granted this rank to Pucci. number five weather report well to be specific i'm referring to the weather report that emporio had the difference between the weather report that dominico Pucci, i think that's that's how you call him i don't know had is the power difference yeah it's the same stand but not only is it operated differently but we also notice a massive boost of power when emporio consumes the stand like a skittle the reason the power boost is increasing is due to the nature of stance or the stronger the willpower or spiritual energy the stronger the stand becomes emporia after witnessing his friends and loved ones die had nothing to lose of his stand which manifested into the form of a ghost room with a fucking piano emporia after losing everything and everyone felt alone runs back to his little ghost room and lures Pucci there with him Uchi approaches Emporio to try and stop him so he can finally achieve heaven. This is ultimately stopped by Emporio after Emporio Judo throws him on his piano and then starts crip walking towards him. Emporio later establishes his dominance by literally curb stomping him. Like, and if the disrespect wasn't enough, he started gripping the side of his face and tearing it apart. Emporio after slimy Pucci gets sent to the alternative universe that made in heaven created, or better known as the second reset of the universe. Emporio scales massively above Pucci in terms of strength, speed, and abilities. His oxygen-related ability is able to cripple Made in Heaven, which is why I have him above him in the list, because no matter if this strength-speed difference, Emporio is still superior in all categories. Number 4. Hierophant Green Hierophant Green, or Kados, some of his noticeable feats are why I have him so high in the list. Kakuen is able to react to the world after randomly appearing in front of him, kind of like teleportation. After using Time Stop, he also uses consistent interactions with the world and pierces him on guarding. Shit, I'm in guarded. Kakuen is the only Crusader member we've seen that tags the on guard, him and Jotaro. This should put Kakuen relative to Dio, and the reason he lost is because Time Stop is able to overpower and make up the difference in speed and strength. Cause jokes aside, Kakuen is strong enough to peer Dio, and he's definitely fast enough to react to Dio. Number 3. Dio Dio's most recognizable characteristics are his endless ambition and his love for power. Abused by the hunchback and being underprivileged and having lived in the most miserable living conditions, Dio set for himself the goal of becoming the richest and the most powerful being on earth. But losing a large portion of his vampire abilities, Dio tries to cope using the stand abilities to stop time as a way of establishing his place as a god like he once did before. Dio stand is the world, a humanoid stand that specializes in melee attacks roughly equal if not superior in its immense force and speed to Jotaro Kujo's star platinum. Data books also suggest that Dio is equal to that of Jotaro but has the potential of being above Jotaro. This including his ability to time stop, Dio is one of its not the most feared villain Jojo's and the biggest threat. Number 2. Jotaro Kujo Jotaro is considered the strongest and fastest character in part 3 by a lot of Dios's goons. A lot of data books also suggest that Jotaro is the strongest and fastest and most skilled stand user which states, Unrivaled power and skill are proof of the strongest warrior. The strongest stand that combines unrivaled speed, power, and precise movements. Jotaro in part 3 is both stronger and faster than part 6 stated in the stand card. It refers to part 3 being its prime. This matters because part 6 Pucci is the fastest character by feet because his speed is tagged infinite and it's narratively implied to have overwhelming speed. Jotaro like Dio 
also has the ability to time stop. But what's different between him and Dio is that his time stop also has the ability to nullify every other ability. This is shown by the fact that he stops Poochie's accelerating the universe and deals his own time stop. It is simply a higher level of time related abilities. Magician's Red If you've been following my content, you should know this isn't really a surprise. I'ma skip over the lore and just get to the point. Abdul, as we see while fighting Jotra, is holding back drastically. He was instructed just to bring Jotra out of the cell by Joseph Jostar so they could recruit Jotra on the voyage to stop Dio. In these panels, we see Jotra not being able to hold back Star Platinum's strength. This matters because Jotaro is a character that doesn't kill people and holds back his strength naturally and chooses to temporarily incapacitate them. Abdul while being caught off guard by Jotaro asks Joseph after being put on a chokehold to go all out in which Joseph allows Abdul to do so. The moment Abdul starts trying we see a massive power difference. Abdul proceeds to Batista bomb Jotaro on the floor and against the walls. Abdul after finishing his job by bringing out Jotaro stops fighting him and walks away. Star Planum attempts to sneak in a spear and shock from behind Jotaro after finally gaining control of his stand stops the attack. Jotaro later asks Abdul what he would have done if he did not stop the Berserk Star Planum from killing him which Abdul responds with, My ability, the stand known as Magician's Red can melt a small piece of metal like that easily before it reaches me. Abdul also says if Jotaro didn't come out, Abdul would have forced him out on a stretcher and sent him to the hospital. Abdul here demonstrates and asserts his dominance in which Jotaro complies. He never disvalidates these statements neither. The reason why I have Abdul here is because, not only because of his superior strength and speed, but he also fights the armorless silver chariot that is so fast that none of the crusaders is able to react. The reason why strength and speed matters in this situation is because if you harm a stand with time stomp, you can temporarily stop it if you hurt them severely or incapacitate them. So Muhammad Abdul would just blitz everyone below, leaving him being the fastest and strongest stand user. If you liked the video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment what you want to see next.